so let's begin this guys um, as I said in the intro um, I wanted to be open and honest with you guys so this part one this part one was the intro part two is this video which is regarding sexual orientation was as far as I was vaguely able to put it and this does concern me and this is very something that's for some is not going to be so surprising for others will be shocking and for all intents and purposes it is something that's hard to for me to talk about but at the same time you guys know I've also have never given a shit what other people have thought about me personally So, essentially, let me just put it out there as best I can. I am essentially coming out as pansexual. That's what I wanted to basically say. The people that uh, know what pansexuality is, you know, know, you know, where I'm going with this. But for those of you that don't know, it basically means that I am what you would call gender blind, gender fluid, whatever you want to call it. Essentially, I don't see gender necessarily as a thing, but I do at the same time acknowledge it that, you know, the biological and physical characteristics of, you know, people that identify as male or female. And that goes for the people that feel that they are born male and are born female and those that feel that they were born a certain way and have transitioned to another and that those are acknowledgments that I make and I respect them all and support their you know and support them to the greatest extent um, and it's kind of through examining myself and my own character and characteristics and just the soul searching that I've done over I would say at least the last two years there's been a lot that has been a surprise to me and one is the fact that you know about a year and a half ago I came out as uh, Wiccan, and pa uh, Wiccan and modern pagan and this one is where I'm coming out as um, where I'm coming out as pans because I've, I'm sexually attracted to women I mean if you were to base my orientation my identity if you will off of my sexual preferences yes I prefer women you could call me straight but at the same time I also can find an, an emotional attachment and have personal friendships even really close bond, uh, bonding um, relationships with people of my of my same gender if you will my, my the same sex but it does not mean that I'm sexually attracted to my own gender. I'm sexually attracted to what you would call female. But what I'm trying to essentially say is that I don't see gender really as a thing. I see the beauty in all human beings, and I see essentially us as just that, human beings. I mean, especially when I look at it from an egalitarian standpoint, we are all equal and we should all treat each other as equal and we should all see each other as equal and this partially is not only just the way that I choose to identify this is also what I ch um, this is also kind of through my own soul searching and through even ideologically looking at it that's what I would like you know personally even go as so far as to say um, you know it now it, that does not mean that I, you know, I would be 
in a same-sex relationship because I don't ever really see myself in one. However, at the same time, if I ended up meeting somebody that was uh, trans feminine, um, that was transitioning from uh, that was transitioning from uh, male to female, and you know, I would not actually have a problem dating a trans female individual. And the reason why I say that is because, again, as I said, I if we were to base my orientation off of my sexual preferences, which I hate doing because that kind of is kind of narrow-minded, but if we were to look at it only at that, then yes, I would basically date, would basically go after, you know, what I would perceive as female, whether it was, you know, a person that was... Uh, born and has no plans to transition to to one or the other, you know, is female. I have no problem dating dating uh, a person like that, and I have no problem dating someone that is that has female characteristics that has transitioned to be female from the from male. So I have no problems dating trans females, and so. It's basically looking through it like that, through this looking glass that I've realized I really don't care what your sexual preference is. I really don't care what you identify as, whether it's male, female, any or anything along the t uh, along the two, you know, gender, you know, norms as some people would like to call it, or gender. You know, I consider myself gender neutral. I consider human beings gender neutral because I look at people as human beings straight down the line. It's what we like to again call gender blind. And it's one of those things where I find myself, you know, having emotional attachments and relationships with males and females. But at the same time, I'm only sexually attracted to what you would call female. But essentially, that's what pansexuality is about. It's basically being, you know, not really caring one way or the other. And even in a lot of aspects, you could carry on, you can still carry on a normal, um, healthy relationship with either sex. And that's really what it's all about. What I really identify myself as as bi is and that because that's another thing that comes up. People often like to interchange or even associate the pansexual with another way of saying bisexual. I kind of disagree. I don't really consider it an in, you know an interchangeable thing. I mean, with certain individuals, it might be. In my case, I don't really think it is. But I would consider the whole aspect of where I stand as being pansexual. And I really don't like labeling myself as anything, but I don't really consider myself straight, and I don't want to just label myself as one thing or the other, considering that I don't want to label myself just based on my sexual preferences. Because there's a lot more to, to life and to relationships than just sex. And emotionally I can form attachments to either to either sex and that's actually a really big revelation to come to a really big sort of thing even for me because as some of you may know I've never really always had a great relationship or been able to have very healthy relationships with men given the fact that I do have you know unresolved issues with my dad and stuff that I'm still trying to work on. But my relationship with with males has gotten a lot better over the last few months. Where I am have come to this realization that, you know, I haven't really ever seen gender as a thing because I've really regarded, you know, either side of it as human beings. I consider everyone to be equal to me and I really consider you know 
and I really just wanted to put that out there to people. So this is that's basically what I what this part's about. I wanted to be open and honest with you guys. I know that for some of you it's not going to be easy accepting this. I know that for some of you, you know, people are going to now probably say things about me, make judgments, etc. And then there's also going to be other people that are actually going to uh, be supportive of me. And for those of you that are supportive of me, thank you. To those of you that want to, you know, commit ad hominem, uh, send me death threats and any other, and basically, or even to the lesser stupid extent of saying, oh, you need to repent because, you know, you blah 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 or oh you're just choosing this and blah 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 and no I don't I'm not choosing to be anything I'm simply coming to the realization that this is who I am and essentially what you know I've been st struggling to I guess come to terms with for several years now and essentially through finding myself in coming to the realization that this is who I am and who I've always been. So, you know, to those that do want to make the judgments and do want to make remarks and stuff like that, I don't care. I really don't. Just like anybody else that's made generalizations and other stuff about me and the things that I've said, I don't care. You know, I mean, what what do you, does those, do your nasty remarks and your Bible thumping stuff that some people might come across. What does that mean to me? It doesn't mean jack shit. So, you know, and so yeah, to the, like I said, to those that support me, thank you. And to those that want to hate, bring it on. I don't care. <laughs> In fact, you're just more material for future videos. It's just who I am. It's who I've always been. What, I, what I'm coming to terms with now is no different. You know, it, that, that's, you know, what people say about me is no different than what they've already, already said to me before when it comes down to things. And of course, there's going to be those that says, well, of course you support LGBT rights because you're this or that. It wouldn't matter whether I was pans or trans or gay or straight or bi. It really wouldn't matter no matter what. I've always considered myself an ally. And even though I'm coming out as pans, I still consider myself a strong ally. I would have always, no matter what, I would always be, consider, be an LGBT plus activist. Because... As a progressive, as a revolutionary, as an activist, I'm always going to be doing that. And there's nothing that, that would ever change that, and nothing that should ever change the perspective just because I'm coming out. So, like I said, hate if you want to, but it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to change anything. And nothing really, I think, really does change much from all this. It doesn't. I am who I am, and I am who I've always been. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. And this is and will always be and has always been NorCal Corner.